The Through Night Thrower Headlamp. This headlamp has got this style where it's on the strap like this. It's a flashlight through these two rubber straps and then you can rotate it up and down. But it's kind of sizable as you can see because this runs on an 18650 battery. And because of that, it has a lot of runtime and a lot of brightness. And the selling feature for this light, hence the name, the thrower, is that this puts out a very focused beam and it will throw, they say, 323 meters. So very focused, long throwing headlamp. Again, the style is on this standard strap here, like you can see. And as the two rubber straps, you just rotate it up and down within those straps. It's all actuated by this side button here. You turn it on and then you can rotate it for around. If you want to do some task lighting right down in front of you, or if you wanted to rotate it up and look out in front of you, you can do that as well. $50. And just to show you the construction of it, there's the strap over the top and around the side. It's adjustable. It's comfortable. Even despite the fact that this is a pretty sizable, kind of heavy-ish light, it's still comfortable especially with this top piece on the head strap. Now you can take it out and just to show you how it is, here's the light itself. Again, not super small, but kind of palm sized. Something that would be interesting is aside from the head strap, they included a uh, pocket clip because some people like these right angle lights. So maybe you could include a pocket clip to stick right there or the other way, but that'd be an interesting addition. Anyway, aside from that, it comes with a USB-C cable because it is USB-C rechargeable right here. It will glow red when it's charging, blue when it's fully charged. When you turn it on, it glows blue to show you that it is greater than 10%. When it gets to less than 10%, it flashes red. So charge indicator there. The battery comes with a through night. 3400 milliamp hour, 18650 battery rechargeable, obviously. Goes back in there, IPX8 rated, all that normal stuff, type three hard anodized aluminum, standard flashlight stuff, and along with that standard flashlight functioning. So if you're familiar with almost any flashlights these days, this light is going to be no different. You long press to get to moonlight. It'll do that for a whopping 39 days. And then you just, hold it down and that ramps through low, medium, high, low, medium, high from any mode, double click to get to turbo, triple click to get to SOS. I'll put the run times down on the bottom here. You can look at those so I don't bore you with them. It has memory for anything except for the moonlight, the turbo and the SOS. So any of those medium modes, low, medium, high, you turn it off on the low, turn it back on low, turn it on, turn it to high, turn it off. There it is back on high. It puts out up to 755 lumens. It will ramp down and I will say that after a while on that high, it does tend to get kind of warm and there is a heat sink there to help with some of that heat dissipation, but you're gonna have it on your head anyway, so you're not gonna be carrying it. So you may not notice that heat quite as much as if you were holding it in your hand and maybe had your hand near the tip of it. Taking the light outside, it does do low mode for some up close stuff, the moonlight mode, although it is a focus beam if you're doing some stuff in the house or where your eyes are well adjusted. It's fine for that. And then if you need to reach out and touch someone or something with a beam, this thing will go quite a ways down the road as it were, or up into the trees with that very focused beam. For a hiking light, I might like something that's a little bit more broad based, but for a task focused kind of searchlight almost, if you want a searchlight on your head, or for some reason want something more focused, check out the Through Night Thrower, $50, links down below. Nice different option than the typical headlamp if you're looking for this type of functionality out of a headlamp.